So as you may have seen, I haven't been publishing that much content on my channel, and that's because I've been trying to focus hard on building out another Gumroad course. Now this one's a little bit different. The other courses I've done are more for like intermediate and advanced, trying to build out actual web applications. I decided to try to build out a more beginner-friendly course where I work through 20 different interview type of React challenges. So like we basically have all these mini projects that we're gonna build out together. For example, like a calculator, a traffic light, we have a quiz app, we have a Simon Says game, a memory game, and we have some cool histogram visualizations going with our own implementation using Tailwind and React State. And of course, a dice roller and a quote generator, just a bunch of good stuff that you should probably know how to solve if you actually wanna get a job. And I would be honest, most of these, if not 80% or 90% of these, if you can't solve these, I probably wouldn't hire you personally. Some of the things that this course is going to focus on is just, you know, basic, how do you take a problem and break it down in a way that you know how to create the proper React state. And a lot of the stuff you'll be learning in this course, I am using Tailwind. So we're going to be learning how to do some of the fundamental things in React, like using state, using refs, using effects, how to do timeouts and intervals, how to use basic Tailwind styling for layouts and flows. For all of these challenges, I do use a diagramming at the start where I try to walk you through my thought process of how I plan to break down this problem and then implement it. And then I actually walk you through how I coded it all from scratch. So for example, this is a histogram thing I just finished up. So if I go to the histogram and type in the dog jumped over the moon, You'll learn how to build out this basic histogram. I will say that if you want to learn how to style really well, this course is not going to cover that. I'm just doing like the bare minimum in Tailwind so you can learn how to lay stuff out in a grid, lay stuff out in a column or a row, how to add gap and margins and uh, padding and stuff like that. Maybe change a little bit of colors of things here and there, but we are not going to be focusing a lot on the styling. We want to focus on the problem solving. I think that's one of the most important things you need to focus on if you're trying to learn how to code is how do you get asked a question, break it down into smaller chunk size pieces that you can solve and then implement it in code. So who is this course for? I will reiterate that this is for beginners, but I do expect you to have like some JavaScript and TypeScript knowledge. I'm not going to walk your hand through like the basics of like, how do you do a dot map function in JavaScript? I would kind of expect you to know that. This is more of like, you have a decent solid foundation of JavaScript. Now let's apply your JavaScript and your basic React skills to build out solutions. So I'll do a really quick walkthrough of all the things we'll build. Like we have a calculator here where you can actually like add things together. You can do multiplication and addition. And we have a connect four game where a player can play and drop, you know, different pieces like this. And then once you get four in a row, you'll win. I'll show you how to build all this out. We have a dice game, which when you roll it, it just kind of generates a random number and it displays that dice. This is all styled in Tailwind. I know it doesn't look the best. We got a little expense tracker, which is kind of like a glorified to-do list application. So you can go here and you can add like a, you know, a, a revenue and you can add like an expense item and we'll learn how to do computed and react and have those be displayed and also be able to remove and add things dynamically. This is all done in local state. We're not going to be hitting a back an API. We're not going to be dealing with the database. We're going to try to keep this as simple as possible and focus this all on front end engineering. Again, if these look too simple for you, then this course is not for you. But if, but if you're looking at these, for example, this memory game, and you have no idea how you would solve this yourself, then I would say this course is probably geared towards you, right? It's really, really basic, smaller projects that you can probably solve in a 10 or 30 minute session, maybe an hour or two hours if you're really, really struggling with coding. I think going through and being able to solve all these yourself and then having my tutorials and my walkthrough videos to help you understand like how I approach this problem in my thought process for taking down this problem and breaking it down into a implementation, I think it'd be definitely beneficial. And just to show you, I mean, I have like over six hours of, you know, video. So like every single project that we're going to build out, there's a video, I walk you through the whole process. I use Eraser to kind of diagram what we're going to build, and then we build it out together uh, with code. I'll put the link in the description below if you want to go check it out. So if you do think this will be useful for your learning journey, if you're still trying to learn how to code in React and become a front-end engineer, uh, I definitely recommend my course. And by the way, if you do enroll in the course, be sure to come back, leave me a review, give me some feedback. You can join my Discord and talk to me directly if there's anything that you feel like I did a bad job at, at explaining. I don't mind coming through here and maybe re-recording some of the videos if 
you feel like I didn't do a good job. Now, the last thing I will say is that I do use autocomplete in cursor when I'm implementing. Now, I do try to explain all the code as I'm tab completing it, but I do think that in this day and age, you should be coding with autocomplete. And that could be a turnoff for a lot of people. A lot of people don't like the autocomplete and the pop-ups and the, the gray text that shows up when I'm coding. But I think learning how to use autocomplete, for example, I'm using cursor in all of my, my videos, but getting familiar with the, like the thought process of I have this higher level idea and I want to have this right code for me, I think it's, it's very good. But honestly, there's some stuff where it's like, I don't want to waste five minutes typing this by hand. Like I rather just tap complete this. Same thing with doing like, you know, like a use state declaration or rather just tab complete it because at some point after solving one or two challenges, like you should be able to read the code and understand kind of like what's going on at a high level. Right now, the price point is $60. I feel like it's a pretty good deal. I mean, I have 20 videos, so it's like what, $3 a video. Um, I put a lot of work into this and I'm just trying to see how you guys like it. And then more than likely, I will be giving out discount codes in the future or coupons where you can get a percentage off of this price. And I'm going to try to market this a little bit for the next couple of weeks on my channel where I'm gonna be doing some more, you know, simple React challenge problems, but then I'm gonna kind of market this course on those on my channel. So I might do like five or 10 more free ones and put on my channel and then market this. So that's kind of like what my plans are. Um, but yeah, leave a comment. I'm curious about what your thoughts are.